like none other. In fact, we're going to use only the finest, finest of ingredients. Does that excite you guys? Yes. yes. Do you guys like Italian food? Yes. yes. Yeah? We're going to make you, what do you think of, what kind of smells do you think of? Garlic. garlic. <laughs> That's what everyone thinks of, garlic. Thank lots of, lots of garlic. That's good. Well, I first want to start by asking if I can have two volunteers to help me out. Some little chefettes. And of course, I'm going to give you some extra auction money. Who wants extra auction money? All right, fantastic. I'll take Cam and Cindy. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Surprise. All right. I need one person to be sort of a helper and a cooker. Uh, a helper and one person to be a cooker. Who wants to help? Help? Cook? All right, guess what? You get to wear the pretty apron. Oh, I'll say, ooh, oh. Ooh. Very good. All right, so I mentioned we're going to use only the finest of ingredients. So I want to start out by telling you about our finest ingredient that we have here today to be our Italian extravaganza helper. And that is our brand new, you guys are one of the first to see it ever, it's the brand new Tupperware microwave pasta cooker. <gasps> ooh. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about it. This is it right here. So you guys are the first to see it here. And you can see I have my yummy pasta. Tonight we're going to be using some little angel hair pasta. And this is the only tool that you need to make your pasta. So faster than you could probably boil water, your pasta will be done. Um, average time takes 10 to 12 minutes. Um, and one of the cool things about it is, you know how you have to pre-measure things? You have to measure out how much pasta, measure out how much water. This container does everything that you need. All the measurements are built into the side of the container. Every serving size from one all the way up to six is there. There's a special line that tells you, fill it up to here for pasta, and then fill it up to here. I always like to say this. It's got this kind of line that denotes water. So you have one line that you fill up with pasta, so you put your dry pasta in there. The next line, you fill up to water, to wherever it says to. Um, and all you do is place it in the microwave. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes. You want to add about 3 to 4 minutes to the regular direction. So if the directions say, get the water to boil, once it, once it boils, put the pasta in the water and boil for six to seven minutes. You want to cook it for about ten minutes. And it comes out perfect every single time. So imagine, how long does it take for water to boil? It never boils fast enough, right? <laughs> so immediately when I think of it, when I go, okay, I want to make pasta, well, we might as well get the water on now. That's going to take a while. So this is so fast. And the time that it would take you to prepare your sauce, your pasta is going to be completed. Now another thing you need to know about this is you don't want to cook it with a cover, you don't want to microwave it with the cover on, you want to keep the cover off. And once it is completed and the microwave goes ding and it's ready, then you take your cover, this is your cover, see this cool little arrow on the front? This little arrow tells you that you want to point this towards the front of the container that has holes. So some of you in the front row can see it has little holes in there, it has a built-in strainer. So now you guys can really say ooh and ah. Ooh. Right? I said we're going to deal with the finest tonight. This is the finest. So all you do is take both hands, hold on to the side handles, tilt it, and you drain your water. So it strains it completely for you, and then you can put your pasta right into your dish. Sound good? Well, that's our first step. We need to get this going. So, Cindy, you said you'd be our helper tonight. And um, we're going to do four servings. So four servings of pasta in there. She's going to, just to recap, and if you forget my directions, guess what? They wrote them in the front of the cover on the inside. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Tupperware. <laughs> all right, so all she's going to do is fill up the water line to the four. You know what to do with that? Put it in the microwave. This is going to take 10 minutes. So put it in the microwave for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to give you a little secret before you leave, Cindy. Oh, yes, yes, Sorry to do this to you. Um, I'm going to send you back with this. This is just a little, um, this is actually our two-cup quick shake that makes all those perfect little gravy mixes and protein shakes. It makes perfect omelets. I'm going, to take, I'm going to send this back with you because what I want you to do is whenever you drain that water, I want you to reserve a little bit in here because this is going to be a secret ingredient that I'm going to share with you guys tonight on how to t uh, take your, your sauce that you make, any sauce that you make, and kick it up a notch by including some of the starchy water that your pasta cooks in. This is what they do in restaurants. You don't know they do this back there. This is what they do in restaurants. The, the starch from this and the oils from your um, sauce, they emulsify and they cook together and it just adds, a, it kicks up your, your um, sauce a couple notches. So reserve a little bit of that. Little hint, don't close this because when this is hot, it causes pressure because it's liquid tight. So go ahead and keep it open and just bring that back to us. Okay. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and get started. We need to turn this little guy on, don't we? All right. So we're going to get started. Kim, you're going to be our chef vet, so I'm going to help you get started with what we need to do. The recipe we're going to be making tonight is pasta pomodoro and angel hair pomodoro. You can use any pasta that you want. Angel hair is just a, a lovely 
light pasta, real, real fun pasta, um, but you can really incorporate any pasta that you would like with this. And pomodoro means tomato in Italian. So you guys learned some Italian today. That was good, right? Um, and so guess what? There's tomatoes in this, which are, tomatoes are very, very healthy for you. And um, what we're going to do first is um, we need to get our um, skillet heated up with a little bit of oil. The skillet that we're using is actually another um, special type of thing that um, transforms your pasta dish from just being a regular pasta dish at home to um, a, a restaurant quality. When you work in a restaurant the, back there and you order um, any type of pasta dish, they have the sauces all pre-made and they have the pastas almost made. And what they do is they take it and they put it all into a skillet and they put the two, the, the pasta and the sauce in the skillet and those two kind of marry together. Have you ever noticed how you go to the restaurant and the pasta just looks all shiny and the sauce is delicious, it's on every strand of pasta and you're like, how, the, how come when I make this at home it's not the same? That's because we make the pasta, we put it on the dish and we put the sauce over the pasta. But what happens is when you incorporate it all together in the skillet and you give it time to sort of those two things marry together, it just really transforms that a little more. So those are two secrets you guys are leaving. These are top, top secret, guys. Okay, no, not everybody knows this. So taking your pasta and putting it back in the skillet, you're going to see us do that today, and then also using some of that starchy water. That's two little tips that we're going to use. Um, you're going to be reading the recipe to Kim, so you guys can kind of, as I tell them about the products, y'all can kind of work together and get the recipe going. They're using, um, as soon as this gets going, and that this heats up very quickly. What Kim's using, so y'all can get started on the recipe, and um, I'll just tell them what y'all are doing along the way. If y'all want to go ahead and work together and cook on that. They're earning lots of auction money. Would you guys agree? Yes? Yes. yes. Awesome. All right, so what they're using to um, start the sauce while the pasta's cooking, and we want to be done by the time the pasta's cooking. That's the, I mean, can you imagine having your recipe, having everything be done in 10 minutes or less? Um, so what you, I'll tell them what you're doing. Um, what we're going to be doing is um, they're chopping up the garlic and green onions, and this isn't our quick chef. Um, our, our, um, I'm sorry, our chop and prep. It's our junior quick chef. And what it does is it has three different blades that every time you pull the handle, it chops it. In fact, in like 15 seconds, you can chop something like 288 times. So it's perfect for those little jobs, chicken salad for one, guacamole for one, or how many of you love to cook with fresh herbs? They're wonderful. They add so much. They're a very healthy way to prepare your meals, but they're kind of annoying to chop up. So this is the perfect little um, container to um, be able to chop up all those fresh herbs and um, get it into your recipe very, very quickly. Or if you're like me, I cannot stand chopping onions, and if I just need a little bit of onion, this is a wonderful job, a uh, wonderful container to just do a little job. Mm. All right, so they are, can you guys smell that in the front row? Mm -hmm. It's already yes. smelling good. <laughs> She's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, so the cookware that they're using, this is our um, Tupperware um, Chef Series cookware, and it is, again, we're only using the finest of ingredients, so you know we have to have the finest quality cookware here, and that is Tupperware Chef Series cookware. It's made out of 1810 stainless steel, which means it has a good mix of chromium and um, stainless steel. It has a good combination of nickel as well. Um, it's professional grade. The reason why that combination is important, just to kind of summarize it, is that you want it to be durable enough to withstand dings and you know use in the kitchen and not get all you know dented up and look ugly. Um, so it's able to do that. It's able to withstand that. They're going to add some tomatoes. They're adding some tomatoes to it. Get ready. Oh. <laughs> All right, so um, the other thing that happens with our cookware is that it's made out of a tri-ply construction, which means it has a real thick layer of aluminum that's fused between two sheets of that really good, high-quality 1810 stainless steel, and the bottom of it is five layers. It's a five-layer encapsulated base that has three layers of the aluminum and two layers of the 1810 stainless steel. That allows for very even cooking. Aluminum is a great, great conductor of heat. But we don't want it to touch. <laughs> we don't want it to touch our food, so that's why it's um, protected by that 1810 stainless steel. Now, because we have that unique encapsulated base on the bottom of our cookware, this allows it to be able to be used on induction cooktops, and that's what they're using today. This is a. Um, there's no fire. There's no heat. It's a transference of energy through magnets, and it's called induction cooking. It's in very high-end homes. It's in super fancy. Um, RVs, um, these little, I call them traveling mansions, because <laughs> they're just so beautiful, um, because you don't want to have to deal with any fire, any heat. So the only hot spot is going to be where those two metals touch. Um, so it's fantastic. Now, if you take the time to invest in some very good high quality cookware, 
you want to make sure it's going to last forever, right? Would you agree? Say yes? Yes. yes. Well, this is, this is what happens.